So it begins. Iran has responded in a retaliatory strike for its fallen general. I don't think most people expected them just to sit down and do nothing. Because you know Trump, he's going to respond how he said he was going to. He's going to pound Iran now. And you wonder if nukes are going to be going. There's already been so much pain in the Mideast. Will you stand? Will you stand for peace? Or will you follow the propaganda? The war machine. The missiles are flying into the American base that Trump said that Iraq would have to pay for before they would leave. It looks like Iran has sent in missiles to try to decimate this base. Of course, Trump is going to respond. A lot of innocent people are going to die. Just people trying to save face. You got your war, Mr. President. I remember during the debates and Trump was making fun of Bush for starting the Iraq war. This is not the president we saw in the debates. He lied to us, man. War is an easy thing to talk about. There are not many people uh, of the generation that remember it. The right honourable gentleman served with distinction in the last war. I never killed anyone, but I wore a uniform. But I was in London in the Blitz in 1940, living in the Millbank Tower where I was born. Some different ideas have come in since. <laughs> and uh, every night I went down to the shelter in Thames House. Every morning I saw... Dockland burning, 500 people were killed in Westminster one night by a landmine. It was terrifying. Aren't Arabs terrified? Aren't Iraqis terrified? Don't Arab and Iraqi women weep when their children die? Doesn't bombing strengthen their determination? What fools we are to live in of a generation for which war is a computer game for our children and just an interesting little channel for news item. Every member of parliament tonight who votes for the government motion will be consciously and deliberately accepting the responsibility for the deaths of innocent people if the war begins, as I fear it will. Now, that's for their decision to take. But this is a quite unique debate in my parliamentary experience where we're asked to share responsibility for a decision we won't really be taking with consequences for people who have no part to play in the brutality of the regime which we are dealing with. And I finish with this. On October the 24th, 1945, and the former Prime Minister from Bexley and Old Sidcup will remember, and the words of that charter etched into my mind and moved me, even as I think of them. We, the people, determined to save future generations, succeeding generations, from the scourge of war, which twice in our lifetime has caused untold suffering to mankind. That was the pledge of that generation to this generation, and it would be the greatest betrayal of all if we voted to abandon the Charter and take unilateral action and pretend we were doing it in the name of the international community. And I shall vote against the motion for the reasons that I've given the House.